Vote. Pork and Alfredo. Uh, pork, Alfredo, spaghetti, onions, broccoli, garlic, all that stuff. Opinion on carbs. Do you see the tray of pasta sandwiches in front of me? What's, What's up, up guys? guys? It's pasta sub time. time. Let's go. Yeah. Oh. We got it. Salute, guys. Salute. Salute. Yeah, I wasn't that on the shot. General tips on gaining weight: eat more. All ready, let's do this. Um. They say they eat a ton, but they can't gain weight. Are the same people who eat healthy, but can't lose weight. It's like the opposite. They're both wrong. If you eat healthy, but can't lose weight, you don't eat healthy. If you eat a ton, but can't gain weight, you don't eat a ton. You just don't. The drop. I got a better button the first one. How does someone expand their appetite? Man the fuck up. Man the fuck up. Or woman. Woman the fuck up. I mean, the simplest way to, to consume more calories is, um, eat more calorie dense foods but like point blank like man the fuck up just eat more the simplest way to make more money eat at the cheesecake factory thank you Lisette. Lisette, thank you the cheesecake that. factory you can eat a salad for 1500 calories right <laughs> You can eat a salad, That's 1,500 calories at the Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> Cheers. Um, that, so that's probably more than your daily intake. It could be more than your daily intake. No, Most not. people who say they can't get weight, that, that is, a Cheesecake Factory salad is more than your, your daily intake. Salad, guys. A salad. Guys, it's a tough world. <laughs> it's a tough world. Sometimes you got to, like, work hard. Mm. For and. Eating more isn't work hard. Isn't like it, it is. You can say it is. You're chewing more. But like, there's cheap foods. Eat eat half a stick of butter a day. But you know that's another thing like, too. People like want to quote unquote want to eat healthier, and they put the excuse I'm healthy. broke. No, I'm talking huh? about in general. Like just, just excuses is what I'm talking about. Because that's what it is, no? Mainly yes. Mainly excuses. <laughs> You hope the hurricane comes. I hope it doesn't hit Florida either. Um, we'll be waiting that out. Obviously, we have some loose ends we need to tie up in New Jersey. Um, we, yeah. we got a ton of stuff to do in New Jersey before we leave for Miami. Um, but Just slowly approach. Okay. I hope. Um, why do we fall? If you don't fall, why do we fall? What do you mean? If you don't fall, you're not trying hard enough. If you don't, I crash my bike at least once a year. Oh. I crash my bike at least once a year, oh and yeah, if you know what feels good to not crash your bike, but you know what? <laughs> it sucks. It sucks freaking getting in the shower and washing friggin' pebbles out of your skin that is arguably not the first, is not the first layer of skin and possibly not the second or third. Mm -hmm. But, that sucks. But, you don't know your cap until you fuck up and lose. Mm -hmm. I fuck up, I lose, like, I will fuck up, I will lose again. Um, mm. The DJ Khaled song, All I Do Is Win. Win, win, no matter what. 
it's not it's not realistic and no not all he does is not win like mm -hmm. he may love his life like he may love his wife and kid and a lot but he's still trying to lose weight so he may have a ton of money but he's been on weight weight watchers for like 16 years <laughs> <laughs> and he's lost weight but like let's be real just as hard, like, just as hard as losing weight is maintaining. Like, oh, yeah. if you want to lose weight, right? If you want to lose weight and maintain, maintaining is just as hard as the losing weight part. If you enjoy the good things in life. No. Or just in general. Oh. No, it is. Because another one. <laughs> I just gained a pound. Another one. <laughs> yeah, another one. You keep stacking them up on the wall like your mm. plaques. Great dude. I follow DJ Khaled. I think he's a great dude. I love his attitude. Like yeah. he, he's so positive. He cheers people on. But you could be, you could be positive to a fault. Just like you could be negative to a fault. You could be positive to a fault. Like you could think everything is great when there's shit you need to work on more than you're working on it. Like. Mm -hmm. We are not perfect people. I know you may be fooled by your Instagram post where mm -hmm. we fall asleep eating pizza. No. And Jenny has another one coming up soon. <laughs> but We're also not the perfect relationship. We disagree on stuff. We talk about it, we get through it too, you know? It's, oh, just, you that's Justin. Uh, let's say, he he says huh? he loves you. <laughs> Oh. Oh, no. Spaghetti, hoodie, perfect, perfect match. She's smart. She's loyal. <laughs> you know? Somehow this is. We all gotta fuck up. Like Gary V says, like you gotta, you gotta love failing. You gotta love losing. Uh, I don't love losing. I, I think people mis, like misconceive what he's yeah. saying when you have to love losing. It's just learning the process. You have to love the fact that you lost. Mm -hmm. Means you pushed to a point and you took a shot. Like, a lot of guys will make fun of their friend for getting shut down by a girl. My friends, we're all, most of my friends are married and or not single right now. But, in our 20s, in our 20s, one of us would go friggin' approach a girl or a couple girls, and and my friends would count down the shutdown if it was gonna happen. Oh my god. Yeah. If, I'm sorry, but I'm when, not gonna. I'm... When me and my friends approach girls, when it was one or two of us, right? That's so bad. We would be like, if, I, if it wasn't me, if it was me, like, mm. and it's happened to me, where I went so, on a solo mission, <laughs> like, Solo mission. Three, I didn't know two, <laughs> one. Shut down! Like screaming in the bar, right? Oh my screaming God. in the bar, right? And if I, if it wasn't me, then I'd do the same thing. And um, but you went, you went in. Like you, the rest of them just stood there by themselves. I mean, stood there in, in a group because uh -huh. they didn't have the balls to go over there. And you went where they wouldn't go. So like, you gotta love. And I'm saying this because I love, I love getting shut down because it means I went, like I went over there and I did it and you guys did it. Mm. Uh, that's, no, that counts for something. That does. It does. Excuse me, I had a And the reason why I'm saying um, getting shut down is so good Wait, and going in is so good. Lissette is aware you love her. <laughs> Hi, Pix. And because I'm gonna go back to Gary V. When Gary V. talks about um, when Gary V. talks about waking up at 60 with a ton of regret. Oh yeah, this is real. Right. Yeah. When he talks about waking up at 60 with a ton of regret. 60 years old. 60 years old. Mm -hmm. I can relate to that because one of the things I do. Um, 
I can't sleep at night if I if I know I didn't take the shot. Like that's me personally. Like if if there was a shot I could take and I didn't take it because I was scared of losing, mm. then I can't sleep at night. So I would rather take the shot. I want to win, but if I lose, take the shot, lose, and know that I took the shot and did the best job I could. No. At the time. Well, we're taking a shot at Miami. We're taking a shot at Miami. Okay, here's a, here's yeah. here's a perfect example. We are like Jenny and I are moving to Miami. For, Yay! For the winter, we're coming we're coming back in late May, maybe early June. There's a lot of unknown. There's a lot of us. <laughs> we might lose. We might lose all our money. Like, I may fuck up my credit. <laughs> I mean, I don't try not to. Yeah, like there's a no, million there's a things. Bunch of things. There's a million things. We're taking a risk. We're taking a risk. But you know what? If we fucking lose all of our money, fucking, I lose all my Instagram followers. Freaking, I lose all of my clients. Whatever. That would be devastating, but you know what? You know what would be worse than losing all of you guys, all of you guys, all of my money? Is not, not trying. going, not trying to go to yeah. Miami. Not, not trying. trying. Yeah. yeah. But you know what? That's with, the only thing that's worse. With high risk comes high rewards. So. Like, it's a calculated risk, don't get me wrong. It's calculated, but, um, oh, I'll sweat my ass off. I'm trying to get off. <laughs> no, I, I never use napkins for eating. I wake up with fucking food all over my face, but like my forehead. Um, <laughs> it's a calculated risk, but don't get me wrong. It's a risk. It's a huge yeah. risk. What do I do for work? I teach. I teach the Blake diet. Mm. Um, I teach this diet for work, where you get to eat all the carbs. When is Blake proposing? Blake just proposed Miami, and I said yes. <laughs> When am I proposing? Actually, I proposed Miami. No. He said yes. Jenny I actually proposed. proposed Miami to me. Jenny proposed Miami to I me. I got down on one knee and I said Miami, and he said yes. No, it didn't go. It didn't go exactly like that. That's. It never goes exactly like that. That's how it went, but it's hilarious. But Jenny did propose Miami. Uh, oh, I was gonna say, can you get me up? Yeah, I know. Hold on, guys. Hold the thought. Wait a minute. Um, what? No red onions on that one? No, oh, we're good. It's okay. Alright. It reminds me of the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the double. Okay. No, that's not what happened, but... Look at my... If, if you want to know more about our Miami situation, mm -hmm. uh, please fully read my Instagram post for today. Wait, he said fat people don't go to the beach. First of all, that's not proper, but... Hold on. No, fat people do go to the beach. Everyone goes to the beach. And weight or no weight or whatever it is, you should love yourself regardless of where you are in your life. Look, Miami's probably scared of us in some way. Not everybody in Miami, but Miami itself. <laughs> um, to have, um, yes, it's Alfredo in these. I'm still on the first one. Jeez, I haven't even got to chewing. Miami is probably scared of us in some way because, like, do you guys see how we how we party, how we drink, how we um, how we conduct ourselves with carbs? Oh, what's um, up, Pulaska? How we conduct ourselves with food? What's up, Pulaska? Mm. Oh, we go in. Mm. We go in. Thank you, Krishna. <laughs> Enjoy work, Krishna. Mm. Why do I say that? Because there's a, a lot of, um, only a few Miami foodies eat the food. That's why. Because everybody has this self-image on Miami, and 
Jenny and I are uh, clearly eating the food. Uh, so, as you, have as you can <laughs> see right now, we're clearly eating the food. So when we go to Miami, we're actually eating the food. We're not posing next to it and not taking a bite. No, we're posing next to it and then eating it. So, and we're not like posing with alcohol and not drinking it. We're posing with alcohol and drinking it. Okay. Slamming the glass down. Um, so that's why I'm saying Miami's scared of us because um, we go hard. We go hard. In a good way. I can't say all we do is win because I lose a lot, <laughs> but we go hard. Mm. So thank you, little little Rye. Mm. Thank you, Polaka. Mm. Sail the Caribbean from Miami. Impossible. I like land. Anything's though. possible. You like land? Yeah. Yeah, I gotta ride my bike. I'm, I'm a land kind of guy. I can swim. I, you know what? I can swim. I can I, swim. I can't. I'm a, that's one of my goals is to learn a little bit about swimming. Why, is my, why doesn't my wife wear a bow tie? Um, well, she's not my wife. We decided to go to Miami instead of getting married. No, no, that wasn't marriage. That was a baby. Either <laughs> or. Either one of the both yeah. expensive. <laughs> mm. No, we we don't drink and drive in New Jersey either. No. I put, I put I put it on my story. You see my Uber bill? I put thirty miles on my car a week, or maybe a month. My? Thirty miles? No, thirty. I'm sorry. Mm. I put thirty miles on my car a month. No. I brought my car to the dealership to get repaired and they started charging me for storage after they called me for like a week straight and I didn't go pick it up. And then I went to pick up my car and the guy was like the service uh, manager rep. He's like, he's like, most people, they're calling me like angry that I'm not giving them their car back. He's like, you don't even return my calls. <laughs> he's like, I was like, I don't even think this guy wants his car. He's like, and then I checked the mileage from the last time you've been here. I'm like, you don't even, you don't even drive. <laughs> like, yeah, obviously Miami's expensive. No. We're not, yeah, we are we know. We've been to Miami. Yeah. We have a place there. Yeah, right? Yeah, I guess we're Okay, now I'm hot. And I don't even get hot. No, I have more, 30 miles a month. Lake doesn't drive. You go, I probably walk, I don't even walk, but I probably walk more than that. No, I don't drive. I mean, I drive, I work in Brooklyn, I commute. I don't drive. Well, right now, but my mileage on my, we, I went to Florida, like, we went to Florida on my car, drove down and came back and I'm still on the mileage. <laughs> <laughs> it's just crazy. <laughs> They were suggest they were trying to upsell me on all these repairs. I was like, nah. They're like, your car needs brakes. I'm like, I don't even stop. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, no need you need a you need a hundred something thousand mile tune up. I'm like, I'm like, I don't even drive. <laughs> you need this. I'm like, uh, I barely get in the car. I'm like, we're good. You need a thousand miles. <laughs> <laughs> and then that's the problem is trying to sell me that stuff. <laughs> I said to them, I'm like, do you guys want to buy the car? I'm like, I don't, if you guys want to keep it, I was like, I was like, I'll just pick my shit up. Oh my God. And they said, <laughs> no, I'll be honest. And they said, let me talk to the rep. They didn't want to buy the car, but then they kept calling me to pick it up. Like, I'm like, just tell you you got to buy my car. <laughs> like, I flipped it on them. You know, they start trying to freaking upsell you and they just like, I didn't want the car back. Just no. keep it. No. But I have it back. Rick, don't go to the hoods of Miami. Rick, there's hoods in New Jersey also. <laughs> Rick, I understand you haven't been around. No. The hood in Miami is a fucking joke. No, he's from, he said he was born in Miami. <laughs> no, I'm saying that. We've been to the hood of Miami. Mm -hmm. People don't even go outside. I know. It's so weird. It's too hot. This is what I don't get. Mm -hmm. In the Miami hood. In, all right, you go to the hood in New Jersey, New York. People, you know you're in the hood. You see people posted up on street corners, sitting on the crates, 
selling drugs. You see all Winter the people. Or summer. Jenny and I ride through the hood in Miami on our bikes. We're like, we're all we're in the projects. We're like, in, um, the hood? and fucking little Haiti and uh, <laughs> little Havana, whatever. We're like, where are the people? Freaking one time, some chickens ran by us, and I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I'm like, They're where the that. fuck are the people? I'm the like, we're in a project. The we're in a project. There's nobody outside. <laughs> and like, we saw like literally like five people. We're like, oh my God. Like, we're like, this is the hood. Like, uh, the hood. oh my God, no. It was midday. It was hot as fuck too. But I'm just saying, wait, what? Mm -hmm. Oh man, he's not hurt. He needs to go to Liberty City or open locker. Alright, whatever. Whatever. I know your hoods are so fucking hard. So hard that people don't go outside. Mm. My girlfriend's riding her friggin' hot pink bike in a hot pink outfit and nobody says a word. <laughs> what kind of shitty fucking hood is that? No. <laughs> Just saying that there's. I'm not trying to claim. New I'm not saying. Claim, I'm not like, saying there's no hood. I'm just saying it's weak. But I, <laughs> oh my god. Disney World coming soon. Everybody's hood is the hardest. Every country's food is the best. Everybody's chicken and rice dish is the best. Everybody's fucking, every guy can win in a fight. Every guy is good in bed. Every guy friggin' can bench the most weight. Blah, blah, blah. It, like, if you're still listening, we're all tired of it. We're all tired of it. It's not a big fucking deal. Like, it's not a big deal. So, so how many do I have? I only have two sandwiches or three? I had two, you had one. No, 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 but how many? We're on track. One? In general, I'm eating three of these? No, no, yeah, you're eating three. What? So that's two. Let me get one of the smaller ones. Though. What do you mean one of the smaller ones? No. <laughs> We're all very impressed. You're all very fucking gangster. We're like... Guys, I'm gangster. <laughs> I'm not that gangster, but... Uh... Alright, gangster sandwich right here. You know what's a gangster? Woman witch sandwich. That's what it Let's is. Say it. Ready? This is how you woman wish. Yeah. This is. Uh huh. Hold on, time out, time out. Let me get some noodles out, guys. Hold on, let me get some noodles out. Alrighty, set. This is how you woman witch. My woman which is weak. <laughs> I could have done a better job. But I I wouldn't bring Jenny to the hood if she wasn't comfortable. And she wouldn't want me to bring her to the hood mm -hmm. if I weren't comfortable. Am I right? To be honest with you, I didn't grow up in the most uh nicest neighborhood. Not the worst, but not the best. Work hard to get out of there. So, like, well, well, what do you mean grow up? Well, in uh, New Jersey or DR? Oh, in New Jersey, DR. I mean, DR too, too now, but... Listen, guys. You don't know where people came from. That's what I'm saying. Alright. I'll get you closer to over here. No, alright. Hmm? Ready? Yes. See, that's the hood right there. <laughs> mm. Mm. Hold on. The only hood in your life that's safe is Mr. Rogers' neighborhood? No, it's true. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it, Jimmy. Mm. 
What's up, Jimmy? <clears throat> no, me, I grew up in Dominican Republic until I was nine. And then I lived in, lived in Patterson until about five years ago. When Jenny Isn't goes the worst parts of Patterson. When Jenny goes to DR, she's got to have protection. Oh, yeah, I do. Like, <laughs> <laughs> when Jenny goes down, she's got her protection. She can't freaking walk. The, she can't ride her hot pink bike nah. in fucking hot pink. Like but that's anyone kind of who's came back from the U.S. and goes back to DR. I feel there's people are always watching, you know. So, um, all right, where are my Dominican peeps at? I always get the Dominican flag, guys. Come on. I wouldn't say you grew in the same place in New Jersey either, but. Not the worst either. Like, what's up? What's up, HR? Can't be claiming like I'm like, oh my god, no. No, you're not. Not from like Camden. There's tougher places in New Jersey. Yes, there are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh man. But you know what? If Campbell Soup Factory is in the hood. If you're if you're from like a nicer area, sometimes you feel like you would benefit from learning from not living in such a nice area, and then vice versa. If you're from a bad area, you're like, man, I want to live in a nice area. You just it's just both ways, you know. Oh, fine, Jimmy. Thank you, thank you, Jimmy. But it goes both ways, honestly. Exactly. Yeah. You have to experience different things. And where you grew up or where you live doesn't mean anything about how nice you are, how smart you are, how giving you are, whether you're into drugs or not. Like, it, it, it means nothing. Because it means nothing. No, it really doesn't mean anything. No. Like, and everybody, everybody could benefit from, like, going into different areas, right? Yeah. Oh, man. All right, Ricky's annoying. Bye, Ricky. Nobody cares. Uh -huh. Ricky got upset because I because I told him Miami's not hood. Um, oh. Yeah. Uh, who's this enemy? I construction management, architecture, mm -hmm. um, all that good stuff. Yeah. Woohoo! That's right. That's right. Dominican Republic, my people's are here. I ain't mad at people. What's up? HR? What's up, Russia? And Russia. Govova? Govova? Oh, no, that's another thing. Imagine a hood from another country. Yeah, go to the hood in Russia. Oh, no. <laughs> go, go, go to the hood in Russia. See how you do. Yeah, right? kidding me? When it's freaking negative 30 degrees. And, <laughs> and there's people outside. And they're outside. <laughs> and they're outside fucking doing pull-ups with their hands frozen to a fucking bar. Yeah. <laughs> That's the hood. Yeah, when you go to another country's hood, that's when you know. Nobody wants to fuck with Russia. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. I when I started doing eating videos, I ended up all these Russian fight sites, whatever. Mm. You just Nebraska to state affair for work. It had super huge, super huge corn dogs and a whole bunch of other indulgent goodies. Mm. It sounds like you enjoyed yourself, human resources. Mm. That's my human, my unappointed human resources guy, HRD Riggs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> In Russia, you don't go to the hood. The hood goes to you. No, it's true. Like, the hood goes to you. <laughs> Russia isn't big on Instagram because they freaking sit inside. Mm -hmm. Like, and when it's cold out, it's, it's like, like oh, it's cold. That's right. Mm. Russia's doing fucking planches, planches on two fucking fingers. Fucking, <laughs> I can't even freaking hold myself up. Like. Mm. It's called vodka. It's more than vodka. 
I drank, I drank a ton of vodka in my life. I've never been able to friggin' do push-ups with two fingers and my leg balancing in the air. My leg's balancing in the air. I'm sorry. Like, Russia, <laughs> Russia is they. It's Not a us. different mentality. It's a different mentality. The hood. <laughs> Like, that dude who was all mad from Miami when I made fun of his hood. Um, in Russia, they wouldn't even get mad. They'd be like, you need to cut. They'd be like, come to Russia. Yeah, but nobody from like, the hood should have Russia. moved to you. Like, no, no. This is it. No, no you're not. Yeah, like, they got too much stuff to do. Oh, man. Yeah, they should do. Exactly. Plus, like, if somebody's like, if somebody comes to my stream and says whatever else, be like, okay, well, you're in my stream. Why you got some big motherfuckers there? No! Mm -hmm. They don't fuck around. They don't fuck around. We have so much love for Russia. I don't have one. Actually, the Russians love Blake. They hmm? do, especially the ladies. Blake, you, I decide to um, black you, dude. Thank you. Um, yeah. The ladies You need to drink it. Trickly or Claren. In Russia? They're like Clorox? What is that? Wait, Andy. What sauce? Alfredo. You're on two? Yeah. And you got... So, oh, so I need to finish three by the time you're one and a half. Oh, damn. Oh no, I'm slowing. I'm, I'm like that. Oh way. yeah, these are fat as hell. These are so. fat as hell. These are broccoli pork Alfredo subs with onions, um, mm -hmm. pecorino romano cheese, adobo, fr uh, garlic. Mm. spiders no actually i just killed one today and i don't like to somebody asked when are we when are we going to australia i was like i don't know if jenny's okay with spiders oh yeah with the damn i don't i don't like is that I, a I don't stereotype? Like spiders no. but then when they're in my way and i'm like i have them like, I, I say goodbye to them because it's bad luck to kill them the thing is like i don't mind jenny getting scared but i do mind when you when you get a hotel bill for an extra friggin' thousand dollars because there's shoe prints all over the fucking walls. God, have you seen me try to kill a bug? Guys, bugs, guys mm. look, I'll be real with you. Uh -huh. I wake up plenty of, plenty of nights. I wake up plenty of nights with Jenny banging shoes on the wall so hard. I'm on the white paint and I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, if a, if a fly, a spider, mosquito fucking gets in her path, she freaking, she will take her shoe off and bang it on the wall so angry, like vigorously and so hard that like, not only will she wreck the wall but and the spider and probably knock at the spider. No, spiders I'm a little bit soft about because, but, no. but, but, imagine, but, but mosquitoes, no, they need to go. Imagine you're lighting. sleeping. What's up, you make pizza? Imagine you're sleeping. Hey, you make pizza. Listen. Uh, Where's wow. Jenny's shoe? I don't fucking know. It's in your room. What shoe did you wear? Too far. Imagine you're sleeping. You wake up to like a shoe just fucking. Jenny's standing on the bed. She's not that tall. But imagine you wake up to Jenny standing on the bed, fucking smacking a shoe on the wall over your head. You bitch. Ladies, you bitch. Right? Fucking yeah, Latina thing. Thank you, thank you. There's some shit flying. You need to get rid of it, ASAP. And I'm just like, it's that was keyword. that was not fucking necessary. That was just that's not necessary. That's necessary, right? I'm just saying. Holy shit! Like, it's necessary. It's in my way. I guess I guess that's that's one of my pet peeves in life is Jenny banging Jenny banging her shoe on the wall for no fucking reason. But the thing is that that's. Most pet peeves we can we kind of like manage on. This one isn't really going away anytime soon. Unless we get like another Latina to like ch -ch -ch, smack it, <laughs> and then you know. <laughs> 
It's just not necessary. Marie, oh, I can't see the, the... Like, the bug, the bug did nothing. Like, a bug flew by. <laughs> and ant vision. walked by. You guys are on my side here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, right. IG peeps are on my side. HR what? Jenny needs to make Pernini one night with yucca and pickled onions straight to her. Um... Guys, as much as I love my people... So here's the thing, here's the thing, HR. <laughs> here's the thing. And um, you're gonna see more of this when we get to mm -hmm. Miami. Mm -hmm. Um... In order to make macro-friendly Latin food, you gotta change some things. Can you do pork? We're doing pork right now. Can you do Pernini? Yep. It's gonna be a lot less. <laughs> A lot less. Like. Not the amount of. There's a reason why you're very old over the aunt who knows how to cook the best. It's like 100 pounds overweight. Higher calorie, good. lower protein, higher fat. No. I'm not even sure what the difference would be, but. Like, I'll give you guys an idea. Mm. And. We do eat, we do eat for the day. We do. But mm -hmm. not often in, in this quantity because this is two pounds of pork. So two pounds of uh, per day yeah. would be, um, let me say, let me say. Two pounds of per day? Let me guess. 2,000 calories? No. Would it be that high? It could be. Hold on, autocorrect keeps. All right, so I just go into the first entry. Um, guys, Pernilis, um, pork, uh, Dominican style. It would be 4,304 calories. And I'm thinking 2,000 calories. It would be four, two pounds of Pernilis would be four times the calories. Oh you need more protein. But it'd be four times the calories. Mm -hmm. Um, no, it's not harsh. We love it. We love it. Yeah, There's a reason why. Hold on. It's delicious. It's so good. Oh, Puerto Ricans out too. I'm sorry. I don't mean to like only do my people's. Yes. Puerto Ricans also doing, they do it really, really good. They do a pastelon really, really good. I mean... No, we love we love certain foods, and we do them only at restaurants. We will be doing more restaurant meals in Miami, but like to be honest, as far as pernil goes and macros go, yeah, you can have it. You can fit you can fit any food you want into your macros, right? Mm -hmm. Or calorie intake. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said I can't really. Yeah, I just yeah. saw that. That's like saying I wasn't the first one doing my diet. I'm just oh. fucking scroll through your feed. Stop wasting everybody's time. Mm -hmm. um, what are we going to do for Halloween? You'll see. We got ideas already. Working on that, I promise. Mm. It's really harsh? No. It's a really harsh kind of meat. Harsh? Don't talk to me. Talk to the pig. Aww. Talk to the pig. Be like, yo. No, no, I don't want to think about the pig. Why is your ass so fat? No, no. Why is your ass so fat, piggy? No, don't say that. Hmm? Somebody with somebody with no profile picture says, please, everyone, be careful with this diet. Okay. I have a profile picture of them, Dr. Oz. You have no profile picture. You are nothing, but. Thank you for trying to hurt my business. I'm sure karma will definitely help you out in your life. Um, oh, he's talking to you? Hmm? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, they call it pork shoulder. You call this shoulder. They call this shoulder. Mm. Yo, baby got back. Yeah. Oh, 
I didn't even post that video. Piggy got back. When yesterday from Blake last night put him. What? Oh, we can't just all get a no. I, I thought Oscar was talking about the friggin' um, the the part of me. I was like, I was like, that's he said. LOL, that's harsh. No, just because Jenny's yeah, Jenny's a lunatic. Jenny doesn't kill pigs with her shoe. Hey, first of all, but she I don't know. I would totally be a vegan <laughs> if it wasn't that I love pork. Yeah. Oh man. All for the animals. Shake that shoulder, girl. Yeah. Shake that pork shoulder, girl. That pork butt, girl. Well, you no. see. Shake right, that. Ready? Oh, let me see the phone. Alright. Have you checked your heart rate variably? Have you checked your vagina variably, sir? Button. Got it, Blake. Got it. Yeah, these bugs, they could go really like it. I haven't checked the heart rate ever. Look, if you're in my stream. What's up, highly medicated? If you're in my stream trying to hurt my business. Or obviously. Hurt feelings. Obviously, you want fucking carbs in carbs on carbs with all the carbs, and you're upset because you're probably not enjoying food in life or your diet. So, I'm sorry you're miserable, right? Oh, God. I'm sorry you're miserable. If you'd like to join the Blake Diet.com, you're welcome to. Oh, and thank you. I will help you get your manhood back. Enjoy food in life and carbs more, right? Mm. And carbs more. You're sure I'm doing great business? Well, the reason why I'm doing great business is because my clients are improving their health and bodies. You're just a cardiologist with no profile picture. Yeah, nobody cares. You're out of here. Um. But I'm just a cardio. I'm a cardiologist too. I, saw I love how you like download, you have an Instagram account and you could be like 12 with no profile picture and a cardiologist. I'm just a cardiologist and I'm concerned. It's like, what is, what is my occupation? <laughs> Whatever I put on my Instagram profile picture. Talking about that. I'm a model picture. actress and singer, guys. Oh, God. I'm a model actress and singer. Check out, check this out. Check out my tan lines. Wait, don't show your back. Orangutan, orangutan. Uh, he's <laughs> 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 He's not gonna photograph me. <laughs> but if you want to see somebody who who lost a lot of weight yeah. eating eating uh, or intermittent fasting, mm. check out orangutan and check all the booty out he posts. And his wife Christina, they both they mm. both did great. I Christina. Yeah, but they're not gonna no. hire Blake. <laughs> They don't photo orangutan does not photograph photograph <laughs> photograph guys. <laughs> but if you wanted to see chicks with tan lines almost as good as mine, <laughs> check out orangutan's fucking Instagram. You have a nice tan line. Yeah. <laughs> if I if he photographed me, you see stars over my nipples. <laughs> what do you want? No hearts. <laughs> but with all due respect, with all due respect, he did lose a lot of weight intermittent fasting. <clears throat> Have we tried Salvadorian pupusas? Oh, oh my God! Do what not if, get me on Oscar, this. Oscar, one of Jenny's good friends claims to be Salvadorian. It's in Blake, <laughs> but Wait, she's this is not. Like the heaviest. She is. Maybe this is huh? This is she's actually. Thank you, Andy. She is. She is, and she took me to a Salvadorian spot. And I think pupusas are amazing. Right? You want to get me? Okay. Mm -hmm. Some noodles. How about that tan line though? How about that tan line? Seriously, that's a good tan line. Look, guys, look. Don't show Blake. Stop showing people your it's butt. Two, it's two different colors. Look at Blake's angle, yo, guys. It's showing it's, like his right angle oh, on his butt. Oh. It's oh. <laughs> two different colors. Working your angles. Look at you. Even with like 10 sandwiches on you. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's, those are goals. Yeah, that was, that's that's the way they do. That's goals. Oh, let me get out of here. Yeah. Mm. What the hell happened to the sandwich? Mm, it's too oh. cold. Mm. It's too cold. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I like to go outside. Yeah. Well, there's a, there's a few things. There's a few things. And and Oscar, we'll get back. Jenny can tell you about the pupusa, but that means that's food. That's food, guys. But I've been getting this tan on. I am African-American and Italian, but, like, there's no tan break from me. There's no tanning break. Uh, I've been going outside shirtless for... Three years. It'll be four years in October, November. It'll be four years. Well, in the winter, and you, yes, you can get a tan in the winter. Yeah, you can. No, you can get a tan in the winter if that's your question. No. In New Jersey, yes. In New Jersey, freezing cold out, you get a tan. Well. For real. Did we try alligator the last time we were in Miami? No, no. shout out to Have you been out there? No. What's Fran the city? Fantash? Fran city. Fran city. No. The girl who spotted the alligator? Tosh. Tosh.0? Yeah, no. Is that? I thought you were talking about the chick. Tosh points fro eats. She ate an alligator on one of her mukbangs. Which was freaking crazy. You've tried alligator? I thought you were talking about the chick who was squatting the alligator in the side. Oh, that girl! She didn't eat the alligator, she squatted the alligator. I'm talking about the girl who ate one. No, she, no, she didn't eat one. Oh, she ate some of it. She had like the alligator head and everything. She had the whole alligator on the table, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's two chicks. There's one chick who <laughs> ate an alligator. She put an alligator on the table and ate it. And there's another chick who, who had- Who said it tastes like chicken? Put the alligator over her shoulders and squatted it. In a thong. In a thong. So, Which is better? The one who ate the alligator or the one who squatted the alligator? It doesn't ask for every seat. <laughs> it's really whatever floats your boat. <laughs> Appreciate it, Oscar. Appreciate it. <laughs> like, I don't even know which one I want. I would want two chicks. One eating the both. alligator. One eating the alligator as the other chick squats it. Bad that's bad. yeah, that's badass. Talk about hood. That's hood right there. That's See? hood. That is hood. Yeah. Damn. That but is... I am curious to taste alligator. I am curious to. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> My sandwich is in the oven because it was cold and I wanted something warmer. Will we try? I'm sure we'll try it. <laughs> I think so. I guess somebody to catch us in alligator. I'm sure we will try it. It's not like I've ever had a pet alligator as a kid, and I don't want to eat one. Well, I don't know. I, I you had pet chickens as as a kid yeah, all the time. Yeah, and goats. Like I had a pet hen. Oh, guys, I gotta show you this picture. My mom said Jenny's that my family. Hen, when Jenny grew up in DR, her yeah, family would she would kill her pets and and eat them all the time. And they said they went to heaven. They didn't go to heaven. They went to my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> I have a picture of a pet hen. <laughs> but you don't know, she was just. Luckily, Jenny didn't do eating away. videos back then because she'd be like, "Here's my pet hen." Oh, my pet hen's lost. And then, oh, oh, yeah, chicken, yeah, chicken yeah, sandwiches. And like, no, yeah, I had like pet goats and my pigs. I just went to pet my my uh, my father's wife's father's pigs and piglets and duck. 
Oh my god. Love for the animals, guys. Love them. Jenny loves animals. Like, I'm not... Let's be clear. Jenny loves animals. But I also do believe in, like, the hierarchy of life. And, you know. and she's also talking to her experience as a kid when she didn't know. When she had no clue she was eating her own animal. I know! <laughs> but at least I know that the animal that went in me was loved. <laughs> See? There you go. So. Oh. It is what it is. Like, my Italian grandfather hated animals, oh, and it wasn't no. even to cook them. He just wanted to get rid of animals. Why? Like, yeah, no, he was just... My mom and her brothers, whatever animals they had as a kid would d disappear. Oh, he brought no. them to the farm. He didn't bring them to any farm. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> to the, your word of the farm is any fucking farm. He went to the farm. Oh, <laughs> All my mom's pets as a kid went to the farm. Which is why she likes pets now, because they don't go to the yeah. farm. <laughs> we haven't had the Popeye sandwich. Um everywhere we go, the lines are huge. No, we don't we don't mm. we ha we actually had a Wendy's uh spicy chicken sandwiches yesterday, mm. which uh, while well, they were delicious, made me feel like shit today. Actually, I didn't have the spicy chicken. I have regular chicken. I didn't. I took a bite of the spicy. I was like, oh no, but is this is yours. I don't like hype. Mm. I don't like hype. All right. Well, you had and you eat what? Possum? You got to have possum on the door and rabbit. All tastes like chicken. Hmm. Possum, really? Possum? Interesting. Hmm. Everybody has different things. Some people love, love to eat squirrels. Squirrels? Oh, I can't even think of that. Everybody's got their thing. Oh, I can't. No, I just don't see it. I, I have done it on here. You, drink, you tricked your sister into thinking wasabi was guacamole. Welcome to hell. <laughs> Somebody would do that to me. There's a special place for you in hell. <laughs> Wild possum from the country back in El Salvador. Mm. Uh, I, mean, I, can, I can totally see that. Like, I'm gonna have um, best friend I have on. a noodle on my bow tie. Mm. Oh, I do have a noodle on my bow tie. <laughs> wow, James. James, you are... A, you spotted! Wow! Good eye, James. That stream is so far back. Just the noodle. Get the noodle. Oh, let's see, get it with your mouth. Ah, oh, Jenny ruined it. Oh, you still have a... Nah, Jenny ruined it. Sorry, yeah, guys. I want to go Um, what the hell are we talking about? Possum. <sighs> That's like everything with like Peruvians eating like um, gerbils, hamsters. It's Peruvians? Hamsters. No, not hamsters or gerbils. What is the other thing? I don't know. Dorian's a hurricane. <sighs> what are we just eating hamsters? What is it? What is it? Mm. Not hamsters. There was a whole South Park episode where they took over. Guinea pigs. Thank you, Lisette. Guinea pigs. Everybody's got a different thing. There was a whole South Park episode where the guinea pigs fucking, they took like some kind of steroids, they fucking, they started eating the humans in Peru. Oh my god. It was a disaster. Yeah, Jonesy. <laughs> <laughs> they were knocking over buildings like King Kong sized guinea pigs. Oh my god. <laughs> Dorian is a hurricane. I hope if you live in the area where Dorian, uh, Dorian is going to pass, I hope you are safe. Tape your windows, do whatever you, you can do. I'm sure you've had plenty of extra time because we've been hearing about this for like three weeks or two weeks right now. So thank you, my dome mantra or whatever for all the pink emojis. Uh, mm, that takes a lot of time to type. This is probably paid. Yeah, but damn. When are you gonna get married? I propose to Blake. We're going to Miami. To go to Miami, he said yes. 
<laughs> you wanna, you wanna, all right, you know what? Oh we can't, God. you can't spam the stream. It's but, like 50 seconds after the stream. And it has nothing to do with the puke emojis. It just has to do with like, the whole reason why I blocked that friggin' sissy from the hood was like, not because he was, it was just like, all right, enough, enough. If I'm reading your comments too much, but it's like you're arguing with me and and everybody else in the stream and nobody cares. I want to read the comments from um, people say, who say, how many kids do you want? There's, they're going to the hurricane. Yes, we're going to the hurricane. Yeah, I'm in your book one. Um, <laughs> We were actually on. supposed to be in Miami. Like, technically, we were supposed to announce Miami a while ago, and we were supposed to be there already, but um, some things happened. We didn't get there yet. So. Bye, um, Instagram. See you later. Oh, check out my diet. Look at my bio. <laughs> Bye, guys. Hey, guys. Uh, Reading Rainbow back in the day. Take a look. It's in a book. The words? Reading Rainbow. I can go anywhere. Take a look. It's in a book. Reading Rainbow. Alexa, play the Reading Rainbow theme song. Uh oh. Reading Rainbow theme song by Reading Rainbow. Starting now on Amazon Music. Oh, that's a song! Reading rainbow, I can go anywhere. 